Bartending. I'm Epic Guy Randy, and today we're going to start off making a standard that all bars need, which is simple syrup. So let's go ahead and run upstairs and get that started. Okay, simple syrup gets its name because it's so simple they couldn't give it any other name. Uh, so it's essentially two parts sugar to one part water. So we're going to add two cups of sugar to a small pan, and you can replicate this recipe as large as you want it to be in the same proportions, two to one. So two cups of sugar, one cup of water. I'm just going to stir this up. Make sure you get all the kind of starting to dissolve. Now, you can suspend easily this much sugar in this much water. The sugar does increase the volume of the water. I never thought that a cup of, sugar, a cup of water would absorb that much sugar. Anyway, now you want to put this on your stove or on a hot plate like this. Once on your hot plate, you want to just kind of keep stirring it because you don't want it to cook on the bottom. And don't go above medium to medium high heat here. Uh, I've seen simple syrups in bars that have turned kind of a yellow and that's the sugar caramelizing where they actually tried to cook it too fast. Let it cook slow and you'll keep it as clear as possible. But sugar water, uh, once you get it down to just like Cairo syrup or anything else, does have a slight uh, tannish brownish hue. Uh, but a lot of it does still come from the cooking because you are, unless you want to sit here for an hour rendering this down, going to caramelize it a bit. You want to cook it until it starts to look kind of smoky like this. As you can see, it is clearing up. You, you've got some little spots there that are clearing. Uh, and it'll start to get kind of brain matter looking. Uh, that's You're real close to being done. And then you're going to see across the bottom, it'll just start to boil a little bit. Uh, and once you see that little bit of a boil along the bottom, just turn it off because you know you have it hot enough. It's just like making a, a jello to a certain degree. Uh, you're just trying to make all this go into the water. You're not trying to cook it. Zoom in as tight as you can on the bubbles. There we go. Okay. Now, as soon as it boils, turn it off. We're just going to give it one more quick little stir here. Now, like I said, you, you don't want a rolling bowl. You just want to start to see those bubbles on the bottom. That lets you know you've got it hot enough. And then you just want to get it off of there and onto a hot plate so that you're not cooking it anymore. Or onto a hot pad. <laughs> and when that cools down, we'll have simple syrup. Now that our simple syrup has cooled, you want to get it into something to be able to dispense it easily. So you can use a funnel, but most of the uh, pans that I have don't have like a little drip edge. So I'll put it into something like this first. Most of it. Okay. I prefer these little squeeze bottles, so it's real easy to get in and out. And just fill this from our cup. You would think this recipe made just enough for this bottle, but it does. And you can use this in any of your drinks that actually require sugar or um, simple syrup. It's the same stuff, but if, you, if something was calling for a sugar cube, you can use it because uh, this will dissolve much easier into a drink. But there is your simple syrup. 